Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Okay, hold still. Don't move. Don't move. Got it. Got it. Okay. So now I've saved this moment uh, in time here on my iPhone. It's now an image. Uh, the problem is, is I, I need to uh, adjust some settings in the image. Uh, we've talked about image editors that are available on the iPhone, but uh, there's one that you may not have heard of that has not only an iPhone app, but also a web app. In fact, the iPhone app is a direct link to the web app. You can use this program called eZimba, and if you go to eZimba.com, you can start using it right away. Uh, on the iPhone, the eZimba app is nothing more than, I guess, an upload tool that takes an image that you've taken on your iPhone or image on your iPhone, it uploads that image directly to the eZimba.com web server and then applies whatever conversion you want. So you're asking yourself, well, what can you do with eZimba? Since it's not really software, it's more just kind of a, a gateway. Uh, the software exists over here on the web. Uh, well, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, just the, the list available to you right now, I can run a, a variety of artistic effects, blends, borders, colors, cutouts, uh, different matrix style fun wraps, uh, reorient the image, resize or reduce the image, make stamps or put stamps in it, or apply standard enhancements like accenting, smoothing, blurring, decreasing sharpness, increasing sharpness, increasing hue, decreasing hue. So the neat thing about it is uh, you've got multiple layers of undo. So if I go through and I say get from album, go to the camera roll here, select an image, and then apply, let's say, the smooth filter. It'll change it here on the iPhone, so it sends it to the server, then pull, uh, pulls it back with the effect applied. Uh, but say, okay, now what do I want to do? Uh, I want to increase the hue, so I press the increase hue, and then it increases, but I said, no, I don't like that, so I want to go back a couple steps, and I can do that. I can go back and it shows me uh, which step of the image that I've edited to, so I can always go back if I don't like something that I've done. Uh, I could reorient the image and that would be like uh, doing like a, well, here's one, 3D rotate inward. So we'll press that, wait a couple seconds. Of course, the faster your net connection, the faster it's going to be. So it's put it into like a cube-like thing. That's kind of neat. Uh, then, of course, there are different borders that you can apply, like a Polaroid border. Look at that. Look at that. So once I've, I've created this image, so now I've made this Polaroid type of snapshot just from this, again, not touching the desktop. I've made this Polaroid style snapshot. I can press save to album and then do anything I want with it. Either it's going to be synced back uh, with my machine or my computer the next time I, I plug it into iTunes. Uh, or I could just send it out to anybody from the regular old photo app on the iPhone. As I said though, if you head over to ezimba.com, that's E-Z-I-M-B-A.com, you can do the same thing on the website. So it's like having simple effects always at your fingertips and it's quite simple you go there and you don't even read instructions you see a variety of enhancements here uh, that you can run uh, against any kind of image uh, but the first thing you need to do is load an image so that's what we're gonna do first we're gonna go over to if I can find my mouse cursor <laughs> we're going to go over to load image choose the file and let's go with that one is that gonna be let's try to I'm trying to pick something that's small enough there we go we'll go with that one just nice and simple choose load it's gotta be a maximum there you go so that was a quick and now I can just run a variety of effects uh, I could reorient it here change the color com uh, run a combination ooh I can make it look like a jigsaw puzzle let's make it look like that a puzzle piece there we go and convert it and now it made the image a jigsaw puzzle piece which of course I can then take and dra well no I, I can undo it wicked if I don't like the puzzle piece my dog is just, can you hear him? He's so sensitive about this stuff. He's like, he, he doesn't realize that there's something called undo. It's undo! Anyway, you can undo any effect that you run because it's just merely uploading an image to the web. So the eZimba e app is available for free on the iPhone. And if you're asking me if it's worth getting, yes, number one, it's free. Number two, jeez, uh, I don't think you could pack this many effects on the iPhone. 
Now, the one uh, detriment that uh, it has going for it, or I guess against it, um, even though I don't see it as much of a detriment, some people do, is that it really is an upload tool. So the uh, effects and the processing doesn't happen on camera. It actually happens on the web. So if the website, the, the eZimba.com website is not running, well, this isn't really going to do you a lot of good. Or if you're not connected to the net, you won't be able to use it. But really, with a 3G connection or even edge connection or Wi-Fi, well, how could you not be connected to the internet anymore, especially if you have an iPhone? Like, if you have an iPhone and you aren't connected to the internet, why? Seriously, why? So uh, I, I gotta say, eZimba.com and the eZimba app, um, definitely happy to see. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, didn't realize it worked the way it did until I went to eZimba.com and then it put two and two together after reading the existing reviews in the App Store. Certainly worth throwing on your iPhone if you haven't already. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You know I'm always looking for easy or better ways of doing things that I may already be doing or may want to do at any point in the future. Feel free to drop me a line or stop by the website. Uh, we're typically talking tech here in the chat room. Um, you know, we're a bunch of geeks talking hardware, software, internet services. You never really know what's going to happen, but that's kind of the whole idea behind having this live video feed because this video that I'm doing and recording right now is happening live in real time. We're recording it, of course, um, but you can stop by the website and find us streaming live and join the chat room 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.